Hello and welcome to another Aggies pub review. So uh, I'm literally a couple of weeks behind with this to be fair. Um, so today we're going over to Liquid Light Tap Room, Brewing Co. Tap Room in the Snenton area of Nottingham. Well, it's on the, it's on the edge of Snenton and Carlton. It's actually just off Carlton Road, but I still class that as Snenton. Uh, yeah, I'm not looking. I'm not looking at the maps to see where actually where it is. We'll call it Snenton. So um, it's in the craft. It's in what we call the craft beer epicenter of Nottingham. Which is in that area alone, you've got Liquid Lights Tap Room, Neon Raptors Tap Room, Fox and Grapes, King Billy, Partisan Tavern, Bunkers Hill, uh, Bath Street, in now Bustler's Market. So there is a fantastic drinking experience in a relatively short area, like literally five or six hundred yards. And it's a good safe area in Nottingham. The pubs down there don't need any bouncers. You know, in, so you know straight away. You don't need bouncers. You don't get that clientele in. They'll go to the pubs where they need bouncers. Oh, there's a bouncer. I'm going to that pub. Um, yeah. <laughs> so we, uh, I joined up with the, the good guys from Smiling Grape, a.k.a. Low Cost Beer. Uh, it was a Sunday two weeks ago. To the, two weeks. Was it two weeks? Was it a week on uh, Sunday? Can't remember now. The weeks are flying by. I do so much beer related stuff that it all gets conglomerated into something. And, and I just literally, I post so much stuff as well. But anyway, we walked in. Um, so there's cast lines on the bar at the front. So I think there's four casks. And then there was four keg at the back. There was there was a the a craft beer fridge there. However, they only had they only got one thing in can. I don't know if that's a, a reason why there is that, whether there's it's a time thing, whether it's um whether it's you know um the fact is that cans aren't selling, so they're just doing just doing cask and keg now. I'll not know that and it's not for me to to worry about in that respect. Uh, always merch there. Um, quite a few people there. The uh, the lady who was there, and I'm not sure if she's the 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 liquid light bruco um, Ed, Ma, Ed Brewer slash owner is Tom, and I'm not sure if it was his late his girlfriend who was in charge. Quite a bubbly character, dark hair, bubbly character. Um, and they were doing, because um, she noticed the four bottles I had from the Snenton Cider Club, uh, the Fox and Grape Cider Club, the Snenton Cider Company. And she noticed that I'd got them. And she says, oh, we sell that in the fridge, Snenton Cider Company. So that's great. You know, fifth element. I said, yeah, yeah, I've just been to a bit of a cider festival. So, you know, don't think I'm nicking anything. Um, they had uh, an eatery. So they have, I can't remember his chuffing name now. Oh, it's just, it's slipped out. I ain't got my phone to do it either, it's on charge. But they have a Mocky D. Yeah. Uh, it does like vegan food, uh, whether you like vegan food or not. Uh, not my cup of tea, to be honest. Uh, but, uh, hey, it looked good stuff when it was cooking. That's on the premises as well. So you've got uh, a tap room selling lots of booze. You've got an eatery on the premises. Uh, they're having um, a quiz night when I was there. Uh, lots of questions about David Bowie. God knows what that was about. Uh, there was pride related questions. If you, uh, that's what you're into or what you're not into. Um, to be honest, I didn't get any of the questions. Well, I wasn't really paying attention because I was doing beer reviews and, and talking and doing beer reviews. So um, I wasn't really taking much notice, but you know you've got all all the all the equipments all the way around your mash tun, your copper, your fermentation vessels, uh, and whatnot conditioning vessels, I suppose. Um, pumping out some good beer, you know. If you come into Nottingham for me, it's a must visit tap room, such a, same as. Um, Neon Raptors, obviously there was eight or nine options of keg and cask 
with one can in the fridge. The one can in the fridge actually is a 9.2% dipper. And I've reviewed it and it's belting, especially for the price. I think it's like literally three quid for a dipper. So maybe it's getting close to its date. But um, for three quid for a 9%er, wow. It's worth, it's worth, uh, it's worth sampling. Um, sounds like somebody's in my garden. Shouldn't be. Must be next door. Um, like I say, fantastic place. Uh, we're, we're privileged to have them on our doorstep in Nottingham. Uh, that hell was going off outside. Um, like I say, in, in a great area. So much doing about nothing. Sounds like they're in my garden. Hmm. I'll let that one go then. Uh, until I go out and see see what's cracking off. Better not be anything cracking off. But yeah, yeah. Uh, I haven't been down for a while. And there's lots of seating in there. Like I said, toilets are clean. Um, lots of seating. You've got merch. Outdoor seating as well on a hot day. And it does. It gets really busy in there at times. I mean, it was a Sunday night at 7 o'clock when I went. Because I... I'd just been to the Fox and Grapes around the corner. But yeah, definitely well worth a visit. Um, you may get more cans and mini kegs at some stage. I was hoping to have a mini keg for the Raggies Beer Festival. However, they just didn't get them in in time. They had them literally a couple of weeks before as well. Literally about a month before they had them. But they, everyone was telling me to wait because obviously craft beer in mini case doesn't seem to last as long as other things. I'm not sure. I'm not sure about the viability of that, but um, hey ho, it is what it is. Um, but yeah, well worth a visit. Thank you for watching. See you soon.